how, as a copywriter, do you come up with powerful hooks, headlines, and leads? So I got that question from one of my subscribers, how can I come up with attention-grabbing headlines and leads? And um, I'm going to actually share, I guess, pieces of advice from three, three specific um, copywriters and direct response business builders. The first is from Bill Bonner, who I interviewed back in, I think it was 2010. He was the founder of um, what has become the gigantic Agora Empire. And, um, and I had the chance to actually sit down with him and talk about copywriting. And he said that, um, that the one thing, the one thing above all that he tries to do when he writes copy still today is he tries to put himself in the mind of his reader and find the story that he feels is the most compelling story that he can tell. And he captures that. He captures this story idea. And then he turns around and from his copywriter's perspective, he tries to tell that story in the most clear and concise way possible, putting the appropriate call to action on the end. So it's really just about finding finding that one story that from the reader's perspective he feels is going to like get him most excited and then just telling that in as clear and compelling of a way as possible. Now that lines up so closely with Marty Edelston, another gigantic uh, success of the direct response industry who founded Boardroom Inc. and, and grew it to... Um, over $150 million a year. And Marty had a word that he used to try to recognize great copy. And Marty hired some of the best copywriters in the business. And he always wanted to know, does this copy make me vibrate? Does this copy make me vibrate? So he's like, and, and that's that that emotional feeling that we get, like the, the tingling sensation, the heart palpitations of, you know, we get excited about something and it almost feels like we are vibrating. And if we are vibrating because we just read an idea or read a story or got excited about an idea that we came up with, that is the compelling idea. That's the story that Bill Bonner is talking about where he's trying to find that idea that from the prospect's perspective gets him just all excited and interested, right? And then the third person that I want to speak to, not a, not a business founder, but um, one of the biggest names in direct response copywriting for decades now, uh, John Carlton. And John Carlton is known for some really kind of over-the-top um, <laughs> copy, but that was absolutely based in in real stories so he's he's well known for his one-legged golfer ad probably his most famous ad ever written and you know that's a hook if you will ever find one you know the story of a one-legged golfer and how um the balance secret learned from that one-legged golfer allows you to uh to smack your drive straight down the fairway you know further than everybody else in your in your party and um and John's secret, like that, that is an idea that makes you vibrate. That's a story that as the reader, as a prospect in that market, I want to read, right? John's secret for getting there is something he's called sales detective work. And sales detective work is this whole idea of just like your job as a salesperson is to keep digging and keep digging and keep finding things and keep finding things until you find that one thing, that one thing that's so exciting that you can't not talk about it, that you can't not tell people about it. And so if you want to come up with attention grabbing headlines and leads, this isn't about some copy formula. This is not about some um, you know, some, some whatever like gimmick of copywriting. It's about finding the ideas that make you vibrate, doing the sales detective work until you find something and you're like, ooh, ooh, I have to like, I have to uh, like learn more about this. And then you follow that and you develop the story. You like take notes on the story and then you turn that around and you write that. And then you're going to write that. Maybe maybe you're going to kind of follow the headline formula. Maybe not. Maybe you're going to write something unique. Maybe you're going to kind of follow like a lead setup. Maybe not. Maybe you're going to find write something unique. 
But if you find the idea first, if you find like what is new and exciting and interesting and compelling and like what you can't ignore, what you, what you, what you have to uh, read before you put it down or what you have to watch before you, uh, you know, before you click away, before you stop the video, what you have to read before you go back to scrolling Facebook, what you can't scroll past on Facebook without clicking to figure out. When you find those ideas, then you just tell them in the clear, go back to Bill Bonner, the clearest, most compelling way. And you, um, you work it and work it and massage it until it becomes a compelling piece of copy. And that may take a couple drafts. It may take, you know, working with, a, you know, with a, with a copy coach or, or a copy chief. Um, it may, it may work. It may take, you know, having people read it and tell you what they find confusing or boring or whatever. But the whole idea is that you have to find the idea first. You have to find that compelling idea first. And then when you find that compelling idea, then you just tell it in the most, um, in, in the way that makes you vibrate the most. Because when you do that, it, you're likely to make your prospect vibrate the most as well. And that's what's going to get them into the story enough that they're going to want to respond. What do you think? Leave a comment below. Let me know on a scale of one to 10, how valuable do you find this as a, as a, as a North Star, a guiding principle for finding powerful hooks, headlines, and leads and developing them from there? And why? Like what caught your ear the most? What, what captured your imagination the most? Also click that like button before you go so you get more content like this delivered to you. Also so the magical algorithms of the internet know to share it with more people like you who would find it valuable. If you know somebody who would find it valuable, you can certainly share it with them directly. And subscribe here before you go. Also check out the links in the description. Uh, there's a link to subscribe to Breakthrough Marketing Secrets, my free daily content on marketing, copywriting, business building, selling, and more. Uh, so if you like this, you'll get a lot more like that, plus exclusives for email subscribers only. Again, that link's in the description. I'm I'm also going to include a link in the description to my high velocity copywriting program, which um, goes much deeper into the, the deep structure of effective copywriting. So once you have that idea, how do you, how do you build an entire promotion or sales letter around that? And that's what the high velocity copywriting program helps you do. Plus it shares the three big idea types um, that are the, th the three like big categories of big ideas that any, any idea that makes you vibrate and that is connected to a sales pitch is probably going to fall into one of those. And that's part of my BTMS Insiders training library. So the links to that uh, and to Breakthrough Marketing Secrets are in the description. Check those out. Again, my name is Roy Fur. This has been a video issue of Breakthrough Marketing Secrets. I always aim for that 10 out of 10 value. I hope I've delivered it here. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you again in your next video. See you soon. Bye.